In this problem, we need to show that the two operators given by i times partial with respect to x and the second partial derivative with respect to x, these are two Hermitian operators. So before that, let's uh, state the Hermitian theorem. So we'll begin by assuming two eigenfunctions, phi and psi and phi and an operator a cap and here integration theta will represent the integration over all coordinates then the operator a cap is said to be hermitian by definition if this particular relation holds we integrate from negative infinity to positive infinity so what we do we operate on the eigenfunction phi and this is the same as operating on the eigenfunction phi star so the same as operating on the eigenfunction psi star so let's use this definition to show that our given two operators are hermitian in nature we'll start with the first one so we'll have integration negative infinity to positive infinity psi star we have the operator i partial with respect to x operated on phi and integrated over dx so here we are uh, integrating over single coordinate that is along the x-axis so this will be integrated by using by parts so we have so to do that what we'll do we'll treat phi star as the first function and i times partial phi with respect to x as the second function so that gives us phi star times integration. So i partial of phi with respect to x dx minus integral. So we have partial of psi star with respect to x times integral i partial of phi with respect to x dx all integrated with respect to x so all the limits goes from negative infinity to positive infinity so we have psi star i is a constant we can pull it out of the integral integration so as per definition partial of i with respect to x dx so this will be d phi with limits going from negative infinity to positive infinity minus integral so we have del psi star over del x times i times integration so this will be simply d phi all integrated with respect to x so this is i times psi star phi that limits going from negative infinity to positive infinity minus integral i times partial of psi star with respect to x times phi whole integrated with respect to dx now it's a necessary condition that the two eigenfunctions phi star and phi disappears at the end point so this value will be zero so we are left with negative integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity i times del psi star del x times phi dx now we can take the minus sign inside so we have negative infinity to positive infinity negative i del psi star del x phi dx and negative i is simply the conjugate of i del psi star del x phi dx or simply put we can rewrite it as negative infinity to positive infinity so we have i del psi with respect to del x whole conjugate times phi dx so we started out with psi star and the operator i partial with respect to x operating on phi dx and we obtain 
the operator i del over del x operating on phi. So this satisfies the condition of a Hermitian theorem. So that means we can say that our operator, as we can say, i partial with respect to x is Hermitian. So let's move on to the next problem. So now we need to show that par second, deri second partial derivative with respect to x is Hermitian. So what we do, we consider the integral negative infinity to positive infinity, psi star. So we take this operator and operate it in the eigenfunction phi dx. And similar fashion, we need to integrate it by parts considering psi star as the func first function and second partial derivative of y with respect to x as the second function. So this gives us psi star integral partial with respect to x squared second dx negative infinity to positive infinity minus integral negative infinity to positive infinity. Then we have del psi star over del x times integral del square phi over del x square dx all integrated with respect to x. So this will be psi star. Now taking the antiderivative of the second partial derivative of phi with respect to x gives us partial of phi with respect to x with the limits going from negative infinity to positive infinity minus integral negative infinity to positive infinity del psi star over del x times del phi over del x dx. The first term will become zero because at the boundaries phi star will be zero. So we have left with only the second term which is another integral that we need to solve by part. So let's consider psi uh, partial of psi star with respect to x as the first function and partial of phi with respect to x as the second function. And this will give us negative del psi star del x integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity del phi del x dx. We already have a negative sign, so negative of negative will be positive. Integral negative infinity to positive infinity. So we take derivative of the first function, so that will be del square psi star over del x squared times integral del psi over del x dx. Whole integrated with respect to dx. So this gives us negative del psi star respect to dx. This integral will become simply phi with limits going from negative infinity to positive infinity plus integral negative infinity to positive infinity del square psi star del x squared times this integral will give us phi integrated with respect to dx. So this entire first term goes to zero because at the end point the eigenfunctions are zero. So we are now left with integral negative infinity to positive infinity del square psi star over del x squared phi dx. So we started out with the integral phi star del square phi over del x square dx. So that means here we operated our operator on phi and we ended up with the operator being operated on psi or psi star, the conjugate of psi. So since our condition is fulfilled, now we can say that del squared over del x squared is also Hermitian. Thank you.